This is for Lauren Sprout. Um, I know this is in progress, um, but there are some things right off the bat that I'm gonna I'm going to kind of uh, start talking about real, real quick here. Um, the first thing is let's get the foreground pieces. Actually, let's do this. This one. And we'll say, let's see here, this is probably a foreground piece here. Let's grab this and let's subtract subtract this, subtract that, take this one out here. Okay. And let's cut that. And let's cut that. And then let's cut, and I'm just roughing this out real quick so it's, cut that. The next thing is these, let's just hide these. I have to find mountains here. I think this is a mountain and let's grab this one here. Cut that one and the final one is Let's cut this. Okay, so I've separated these layers here. And the first thing that I would say right off the bat, I, I get that you're in the kind of planning stage here. Um, the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that you want to get your atmospheric perspective in. Um, so right now you're you're getting this, you've got this pink color, the blue, and the dark value system. So I would almost tell you that you want to um, in your sky background here, what I would tell you is if you're going to keep this color, then everything else has to be a lot darker. Um, so that means that this here is probably going to be a little bit, let's uh, play with the levels a little bit. So here, uh, wrong one. I'm gonna get that back mountain here. Okay, so here, no, which one is this? I just don't know why that didn't grab it. Let me do this one separate here. There we go. Okay, so what I would say is you're working on your levels here, and if you're 
you're going to go dark, then go darker. You know, get that get that almost like night sky there. Um, you want to fix this scene here. Um, kind of blend that in, do whatever you need to do, but get that get that scene fixed up here. Um, and then this uh, this mountain right here is going to uh, be a little bit more um, a little bit more uh, paled in contrast. So it's going to it's going to tonal value out, um, but it's going to go darker. So we're just going to kind of put that down here like that so it blends in. The other problem with it is the shadows are going in the opposite direction. So what you want to do is uh, you want to almost let's uh, flip horizontal and let's move this over here. And I'm just going to kind of, if you want to give it that surrounded feel, you want to, you want to almost put it up like so, and then, you know, grab in and put in, paint in your, your other aspects here and build in more of that, those shadows like so, and I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm just kind of fudging this in here. So make sure the shadows on this rely on the same, the same aspect of what you're, what you're attempting to do here, but you need that background faded more. Um, and then what you're going to do is probably, let's grab these here. And let's actually drop this. Yeah. So then what we're going to do is We've got the other mountains here, and what I would do is let's go back and do a level again, and they're going to be darker than the foreground, and that's that's um, because they're getting closer. So you want to really have that that sense of of feeling here. Um, this here, uh, this whole building here, I. And on my opinion, it's it's a distraction because you've got several different shapes. So your shapes are as follows. You've got your main focal point here, which I'm not I'm not real happy that you you've cut off the towers um, because it's it's a dis, um, it kind of leads the person's view off the off this page because I just keep going up with these pillars and I'm going off the screen. And then you've got this as your secondary focal point, like so, which is fine. But then you've you've got the eye leading off the page because you start here, biggest point. You go to this one here, biggest point, and then you follow the bridge off. So this is all leading you off the page, and this is kind of just in the middle of nowhere. It, it doesn't feel because um, it blends too much in with your other shapes. And so what you need to do is I would just dump this, especially since it's just a copy and a clone of this one over here. Um, so what I would do is um, instead of this, I would take this one and paint out And as you can see, by painting that out, it gives me a little bit of a mountain ridge. Let's add some and as you see here, by by just you know pushing that in there. Um, now it becomes a little bit more unified and I, I get much more uh, sense and feeling of what's actually going on. Um, I can actually you know, I paint this out and then pop in this. You know, and you can do the, those type of things, you know, just adding in snow and, and 
bits and pieces like that. But now that that's in there, then what I would do is here, I'm going to level up the, the, the darkness. You know, you, you want to start layering your dark objects versus your, um, versus your light objects. Um, especially, you know, especially you see how now it gives me a much more sense of foreground background depth. You know, I've got dark, uh, mid-tone, uh, you know, starting to get in that light contrast range and then this gets really light over here um, and then if you're going to have the sky darker you need more uh, of the darker shadows and so what I would tell you to do is right off the bat just kind of add in and and go dramatic with the contrast and because you can see by putting that light, that contrast in there And just by you know me painting solid solid color here, you can see how that starts popping in. Now the problem is you have a contrast problem with your background. Um, your your sky here is so light that your it's so light that you're basically not getting that that there's light from behind. So what is this light source that you're you're bringing into the scene. Um, it just doesn't make sense as far as that goes. So what I would do instead with, is with this background, I would just paint in and these paint in this this sky, and it can be dark, you know, can be light, but leave this corner here to assume that there's light. Do you see how that starts popping out a little bit more? Um, you know, the, the, the scene itself looks a little bit more, it's got a little bit more oomph into it. It's got a little bit more feeling. Now I'm, I'm, I can go in and grab, um, grab those dark shadows. Like it's the last vestige of, you know, uh, daylight or whatever. Um, you know, darken things out. Um, this is, it's just way too bright. And I get it. You haven't, you haven't done the atmospheric perspective yet in there, but, as you can see, by doing that, let me just new layer multiply, and by doing that, you know, like so, and then you can actually darken your mountains here. Let's actually just bring that up here. So we're just darkening our mountain. Um, you know, getting, getting less contrast in there, that's really going to kind of sell your, your piece. Now, the other thing is watch where your horizon line is, because you can easily, um, looking at this, the, the big issue is that you could easily put a path where the sun is reaching here, you know, especially here to here. You know, like so, you put you could put a path there and light that path a little bit more. Now I would lower the opacity so it's not so dark, but you can see how it's a lot more dramatic now with the matching shadows, the darker shadows, and stuff like that. Um, and versus this here. You know where you're you're you don't have that atmospheric perspective in there, and you don't have that sense of of um, feeling in there. If that's that's what you want to call it. This way here has got a lot more interest, and you could even reflect some of the light on the you know the pillars and stuff like that to give the pillars a little bit more pop, and 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 so on and so forth. Um, you know, some of the snow maybe is bouncing the light up there and you can actually get that to pop out some of the, the, the key pieces and that, that p turns it into a little bit more interest. Um, the other thing is when you're starting to go darker, make sure you add in some warm tones, um, you know, with your light source. So maybe it's candlelight, um, you know, maybe you have a window here that's, that's lit, um, little things like that, that'll, that'll give it a better. Uh, more interesting lived-in feel. 
And I think those are the things that I would do um, because that that third building in the background um, really overcomplicates it and this simplifies it a lot more. So I would say go this route instead. All right, I hope that helps.